when we bought our chateau five years ago, we knew that one of the biggest and most expensive jobs would be the renovation of the crumbling facades. It was an essential job to protect the building from the elements and to prevent us from getting hit by falling bricks. We expected this job to be expensive, but we were still shocked when the cheapest quote we could get came in at the equivalent of $120,000. We had no choice but to allocate a good part of our renovation budget to the three worse-looking facades and for many months we lived in a house filled with dust. But eventually we had three beautiful brand new facades. However, a couple of months later we noticed tiny cracks appearing on the plaster. They were slowly getting more and bigger and whenever it rained our house looked awful. It took us two years of negotiating, but finally the company who did the renovation agreed to pay for the repairs and we were able to hire Jean-Paul, a real master mason, who built our entrance gates to get this job done. So look, they're going to put up the scaffolding today? Yes. That's so, so exciting. It's very exciting, but it's also back to the start, back to the beginning when we started renovating the facade. So it's yep. good news because it's going to be a repair. But it's going to be many months of having a scaffolding, having a lot of dust. And I'm a bit over all the dust and the hay. Okay. Ça va prendre à peu près combien de temps de de refaire la façade devant? Je pense que j'espère que mi avril, troisième semaine d'avril. Ah super! Ah c'est cool. The joints in between the bricks are fine, so they only have to replace the plaster on the panels. It is essential though for them to match the colour of the new mortar with the existing in between the bricks. And by only using natural materials like sand, lime and natural colouring, this needs a lot of experience to get right. Especially because each wet sample needs to dry for at least a week before its final colour is visible. And this time, we don't want to get it wrong. <laughs> Et ça, ah, et ça c'est une technique euh, traditionnelle Oui, c'est un, un, ce qu'on appelle un enduit raté en fait. Après, la l'autre technique, c'est un enduit lissé. Et ces deux techniques, c'est des techniques qui utilisées dans le 19e, 18e Oui, tout à fait, oui. En fait, ce qu'on fait aujourd'hui, après, il passe un petit talon comme ça. Quoi. Ok. Et ça, ça n'existait pas en fait. J'adore parce que ça fait, ça l'air très facile, mais je sais en réalité, <laughs> c'est vraiment compliqué à, à faire ça. Ziggy, out the way! Oh. Ziggy! Ziggy, what did you do? Ziggy! No! Ok, Ziggy. Oh la la, désolé. La prochaine étape, c'est de lisser. Ça. Là, là, c'est. Oh, morning! Hi, 
<laughs> Mum and Dad have just arrived, had breakfast, taken the kids to school, had a coffee and a quick catch up and uh, yeah we're not wasting any time because Philip is already down there with Mum and Dad showing them what we've been doing since they were last here and uh, and figuring out all the jobs that we've got for them so let's go and have a look. Are you just uh, planning some jobs for mum and dad? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> They're really happy to be here. And they ask me desperately, what can we do? We are so bored. Oh, oh, did you say the corners are happy to be here? <laughs> yes. We're happy to be no, here. No, I was talking about the corners. Oh, yes. 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 They, they look very happy here. This morning? Feasible? To, to do this morning yeah. and, and clear all the weed as well? Yeah. Yes, because yeah. in the afternoon I have. I can show, you, job. show you what we do in the afternoon. Okay. <laughs> What you can do is propagate the corners because Monty on Gardener's World in the UK this week Monty Don Monty Don himself he just simply took one of these stems and he, he cut it below the node yeah. and he cut it up about here and then he just stuck it straight into the ground two thirds into the ground and that's all you needed to do Wow! So that's a very easy way of, of propagating This is a big bed. This is a big bed. Right. No, more, need... more weeds to grow. More weeds to grow, uh, yeah. If you dig a bed. But I think it's worth it. Yeah. What would you suggest then? A, sli a slightly smaller bed, but I don't know how big these... They, they are getting big. They are getting definitely... This, if you put them closer, you will just... Go, you can't put them any closer. Being a world-leading influencer in the precision measurement and advanced mathematics field, my days can be crazy busy. Sometimes I work, what, 32 hours a day? So it's very important for me to rest and relax. I do yoga, I'm good at it, I develop my own routine. But what I really like is a little lovely puzzle game called Two Dots, which is free to download and also happens to be this week's ad. There's something really special about Two Dots compared to a lot of other games, and that's the elegant and somehow minimalistic design. It also has nice music, just a good vibe. So I'm not surprised that they have already over 115 million downloads globally, which is more than my follower count on Instagram. The levels are challenging, but that gives you a real sense of achievement, a feeling that I'm obviously familiar with, but still appreciate. They even have integrated some weekly events like scavenger hunts, where you have to find hidden treasures on a map. Right now, for example, they have an Easter-themed treasure hunt and plenty of other cool events. If you enjoy relaxing from time to time with a good-looking and rewarding game as much as I do, scan the QR codes or follow the link in the description underneath this video to download Two Dots now.
got drunk. Yeah, you looked a bit drunk, you Dad. Drunk. I feel like I'm driving under the influence. Feels yeah. It takes a bit of getting used to. Yeah. This is the first cut of the year. This is the first cut of the year. And there's a song about this. And it's called, the first cut is the deepest. But it's not about long more, I think. No, I don't think so. Okay, okay. But we're just in time, aren't we? Because it's almost limit the, the length of the grass. Yeah, because if the grass gets too long, this machine can't do it anymore. Then we need to call Jerome and he spends a day here. It costs a lot of money. So. so instead, we're getting Dad on the lawnmower for free. Exactly, totally for free. I mean, it comes with some side effects. The lawn is damaged and probably some of the buildings and plants are dead. But You better get out of the way. It's going to be dangerous. I don't know where I'm going. I might not be able to control this. Just don't run over Ziggy. Pardon? Just don't run over Ziggy. You might have to put him away somewhere. I don't know where he is. Mum, what are you doing? I'm picking up sticks. So that Dad doesn't run so them they, over? So that your Dad doesn't ru ruin the... Lawnmower. Lawnmower. <laughs> and apparently Ziggy thought it was a bit of a game and he was stealing them. Out he the was. He's been stealing all my sticks, yeah. <laughs> oh, great job. Thank you, Mum. No worries. And I've seen what an amazing job you and Dad have done of planting the corners and uh, mulching. mulching. More and also there. more mulching over there. Yeah. It's looking great. Good. <laughs> yeah. All part of the service. Yeah. <laughs>
they already took off more than half of the old plaster, the cracked plaster, and they replaced it with a ground layer, which is called gobizy in French, which is this grayish mortar. So this is a traditional method. That's exactly how they would have done it 200 years ago. Uh, let, let's figure out what mix they, they make. So this is the mix. This is the, the mix for the ground layer, which goes directly on the old stones. Apparently, the old stones were the poils de vache. Or the poils de vache? Yes, yeah, the poils de vache. Ah, ok. We ah, okay. replace by the fibre, the fibre synthetic, but it has a link in the mortier. Ah, okay. Jean-Paul just said, traditionally, they would use cow hair to reinforce the, the mortar. It, it's like little fibers, and they, they make it stick together. Nowadays, you use uh, artificial fibers, they're a bit better. But other than that, it's, it's really the traditional method he uses. It's only sand and, and lime. Alors on n'utilise pas le même sable parce que ça c'est un sable avec beaucoup de beaucoup de grains, avec beaucoup de, de gros cailloux à l'intérieur. En fait c'est en mortier en, en première couche c'est bien parce que ça maintient bien l'enduit. Et en finition c'est du sable fin pour pouvoir le, le lisser correctement. On voit, on voit bien les cailloux partout là. Ça c'est juste pour vous montrer, c'est juste le sable qui est déjà bien orange pourtant et avec la chaux déjà en application on voit quasiment plus la couleur du sable. The problem is we find, there's a really nice sand here, local yeah. sand with a nice color that would be a perfect match, you can see here. Uh, as soon as you mi mix it with lime, uh, the color changes. So we really need to make samples. Yeah. And also work with some uh, coloring to see uh, if it can match the old uh, plaster that we have in between the bricks. Otherwise we have two different colors in between the bricks because we don't change that and the facade. So we add the ochre jaune and we hope it will have the good color, but then there will be a lot of difference. Ah, vous faites ça avec ça C'est une langue de chat, on appelle ça. Ouais, langue de chat. That's, that's called a cat tongue, <laughs> this tool. And they're going to do all the flattening of the final layer with this. So it gets a little bit of a texture. Say, so, Philip. These are the échantillons de samples. It's not the only ones, we made a series of samples, well, they made a series of samples, and these were the two ones that were closest. So we need to decide now in between this one and this one. What do you think? So, yeah. this one is a bit... I think it looks too orange, too, too yellow. Okay, that's very yellow. I don't like it. Too yellow? Yeah. Yeah, that's much better. I think there they, it's a bit wet still. Yes. But well, there's two types. This is the, the gratté one, the scratched one. I don't mm -hmm. know how you would say in English, but this is gratté. Yeah. So it has a more rough surface. I don't like it on a house, on an 18th century house. It doesn't look appropriate for me. So this would be more historically appropriate. And that's just flattened by hand with this little spatula. I like this one. What do you think? Yeah, I like okay, that so one too. Okay, so we agree. Yeah, we've got to get it right though, because it's yeah. uh, this is our last chance. We're yeah. not going to be doing this for a third time. <laughs> no, please. Good, so we agree for, yeah. for like always, basically. Good. Yeah. Okay, so the guys are going to start putting on the new um, render. Yes, okay. they, they're, they're mixing it and they put the ground layer on that part of the facade and they will start on the top and they will probably take about a week for this bit. And then they wait a couple of days and they see if everything is all right, if there's no cracks. And then they move on to here. They will rebuild this scaffolding here and start all over again on that, on that bit of the facade and then slowly move around the house. And in three, four months, everything is like new Amazing. and very dusty.
Right here. He said I can give it a try. Are you sure about this, Philip? Absolutely huh? not. <laughs> it looks so easy when they do it, but I'm convinced I fail. And Philip, are you wearing your best trousers for this? I am. They're going to give you a lesson, Philip? Yeah. So I can do the other facade myself. <laughs> Philip, do you play tennis? <laughs> no, I play ping pong. So just like with ping pong? He said he needs to come out of the wrist, so I okay. try to have a, a floppy, loose wrist. A floppy wrist. wrist. Et à quel moment on... En fait, euh, en général, selon lui, oui. on fait du, du haut en bas. Okay. On fait notre première page jusqu'en bas et après on glisse. Tac. Ok. Après, sinon, il y a le trou, le même. Bon, on va déjà faire un petit Il faut qu'en fait, pour pas que ça fasse des boudins ouais. comme ça, il faut que ça, vraiment qu'elle s'étale bien. Quoi. Ok. Ouais. I think I make more mess than they in two weeks. <laughs> Philip. Well, it's chiant at the beginning. It's not so chiant. It's only when it comes. Right. Ziggy can't watch. He's looking away. Excuse me. <laughs> I think you, yeah. I think I give up. I think I give up. Tu vas, tu vas essayer de rattraper? Pense que c'est possible? C'est faisable? You know what, Anna? You make fun of me now. You try it. Did no, I'm in my, uh, in my best trousers. So, so am I. Give, you... it, give it a try. Give it a try. Come All right, on. Then. Come on. Okay. I like the sound. Oh. Harder. Get better than me. <gasps> Spoken too soon. It looks great, huh? <laughs> I think I'm gonna leave the experts to it. I'm not gonna start trying to do this, I think. Hmm. Ah ouais? Moi. Oui. Moi. Oh, ça, ah oui. Moi. Ah ouais? Ah ouais? Ah ouais? Ah ouais? Il a le geste. Oui, c'est ça. ça. Thank you so much for watching. If you liked this video, please consider subscribing. And if you want to see more of us, check out our Patreon page with exclusive content every week.